The powers that be have graced us with the future of Galaxy of Heroes. We have indeed got the road ahead given to us by CG Crumb, and I am here to break it down for you all. There's a lot of information for us to go over here, guys, and a lot of interesting tidbits, so uh, let's get right into this. Let's start by going over what the anniversary gifts are. So we're going to be getting a portrait and title. No real news about what we're actually going to be getting for that portrait and title. But hey, we'll find that out in a couple of days. We're going to be getting some additional mod slicing materials, which will be perfect for you guys that are looking to slice and calibrate your mods into something far more juicy than what they currently are. We are also going to be getting double drops. So write down this date, guys. Double drops on the 24th until the 28th of this month. That is only in 10, 11 days time. So save up some energy for those juicy double drops. You're going to need it, particularly if you are getting the Grand Inquisitor, who is now confirmed to be coming back in 36 days. Yeah, it, I don't know why they put the event inside our calendars already, guys, but you can get him from the 24th all the way up until the 30th. The end of this year, we are going to be able to get the Grand Inquisitor. I think CG have been waiting to announce this new territory battle for us to uh, have his return because he is way overdue. If you are in with a chance of unlocking him, I highly recommend you do it. They say he's very important and it will coincide with you unlocking the scythe from the brand new Conquest. What else have we got? We've got crystal promos. We've got special Jawa deals. No idea what that is. Trove packs, relic offers. Basically, if you want a whale, there's going to be plenty of stuff for you to spend your money on. Who really needs to spend money on friends, family, and their children when instead you could get slicing materials and crafting materials in Swagger? I know where my money's going. All righty. So what else have we got? We've got the standard anniversary gift pack that we're going to be getting. Obviously, this has been tweaked a little bit to be uh, more in line with current state of the game. So we're getting an Omicron material. I really hope this is a typo. I don't know about you, but um, one Omicron doesn't really go very far. I'm assuming they mean 20 Omicron mats so we can apply a full Omicron. We're getting a full Zeta mat. We're getting Omega. Does anybody actually need Omega materials? Who knows? And we're getting a host of Jabba the Hut related, Hut Cartel related shards. It's not much, but it's a little bit to help us get further. We're also getting some credits, some shipbuilding credits. We're getting some data cache that will barely take you up two levels in a, uh, in a Datacron. And then we're getting some more juicy stuff like two full Carbantes. For me, that's actually probably the best part of the anniversary gifts. I love me some Carbantes. They are still the biggest gear crunch, but more on gear crunches just later on. And then we'll also be getting a host of other smaller gifts to do with building our characters up to relic levels and a few mod slicing materials. The usual sort of fear that we would expect around this time of year, but don't expect anything for Christmas, guys. There is no such thing as Christmas in Star Wars or in Star Wars games, apparently. So apart from all the gifts that we should normally expect from CG, we have also got some updates on the new territory battles. And there's some information here that is brand new to us. First and foremost, we are going to be able to select this new TB every single time a TB is live. That's every two weeks we can repeat the same TB instead of choosing between light side, dark side, hoth, or Genosis, we're going to be able to choose this new mixed TB every single time. That's going to give us the opportunity to farm Reaver Shards at essentially twice the rate, unless they half the drop rate, which doesn't make sense, but who knows? It's CG, right, guys? So, yes, we can select this new TB every single time when it goes live in December. Not only that, they are going back to 24 hour phases. We are going to have six phases of this new TB, and they're going to consist of one battle in each of the three zones. We're going to have a light side zone, a mixed zone, and a dark side zone. However, the units that you get to use in each zone are not dependent on the faction or the alignment of the sector. There will be bonuses in these separate zones for light side, for mixed, and for dark side characters, but you can use any comp in any sector. That is a good, good move. We can actually use Old Republic, a mixed faction that has a TB Omicron, and you can use them in any sector that you want. Amazing. But we'll also be able to use factions like Bounty Hunters to their fullest extent, and of course, 
Jabba's Hut Cartel. And hey, if you like Jabba's Hut Cartel faction, how about you like this video? <laughs> because I need it. And who is going to be hitting this? Well, CG has made some recommendations. They are stating that if you are hitting roughly 20 stars in the light side Geonosis territory battle, you are probably ready to jump up to this new form of TB. Who knows how the rewards are going to pan out from there. What I can tell you is that they are introducing yet another guild event token currency. That is right, we are getting get three currency now. Uh, they have confirmed as well that we will be getting get two currency. So you won't be completely missing out on that get two currency if you choose to do this new TB. Every TB obviously has their own hero units and this TB is obviously no different. There are some interesting choices for the characters this time around. For the light side, we've got the likes of Jin Erso, K2SO, we've got the likes of Old Ben and um, Bo Bodhi Rook. Well, I mean, they've got to get you to gear characters somehow. For the mixed, we've got Jabba, we've got Hondo, we've got Afra, the new legendary character, we've got Kira, and we've also got ourselves Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum. Now, I know what you're thinking already, ladies and gentlemen. These are either brand new characters that CG has just released, or old characters that generally nobody wants to gear. Or fringe cases, I guess you could talk, call it, and, and you would be right. And for the dark side, we're going to have Grand Inquisitor, Second Sister, Third Sister, who we don't even have yet. That's right, Reaver is going to be a hero unit for this. We're also going to have Lord Vader, Director Krennic, and Gar Saxon. Like I said, they really want to get you to invest in either brand new stuff, which is very expensive, or really old stuff that is otherwise just unattractive. Here are a list of the abilities that they get. I do think that these are going to be important for us to be able to actually clear through these TB battles efficiently. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to propose that you go ahead and start investing in these characters until we see just how beneficial it is once the TB is live. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, beans, we are also going to be gaining modifiers to these particular battles. So those of you that are fond of or familiar with the modifiers that we see in Conquest, such as, you know, Prepared 18, giving 18,000% 18, speed and stats and all that good juicy jazz. Well, that's coming back to this TB. Yay. And we are also going to be going back to the Petronaki Arena, apparently. So expect to see fights with the Reek and the Nexu and the, the other thing, uh, you know. <coughs> that thing yeah we're gonna fight them again cool right we did also get just a little bit a snippet of information about the upcoming reaver character she is going to have grand arena omicrons and i'm sure the grand inquisitor himself is not only a little bit annoyed that he is now no longer going to be leading his own faction anymore but that upstart reaver is going to be stealing all of his glory they have confirmed that she is supposed to uplift and be just as powerful as the grand inquisitor himself i wouldn't be miffed at all if that were me but hey, CG have realised finally that people don't actually want to put Omicrons on anything other than Grand Arena Omicrons. And um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't blame them. CG are also finally following through on flattening the reward curve a little bit for TB. So those of you that are not earning as many stars as the higher tier guilds are going to start to earn a gradually a little bit more rewards. So lucky you. And the other gear changes, which is a little bit more significant and perhaps a little bit no more nuanced. We are getting State of the Galaxy Phase 2. They actually remembered that there are usually more than one phases when you call something Phase 1. It's usually preceded by Phase 2. And what does this mean? Essentially, you know, all those gear crunches that you guys are really struggling to, 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 to get past a break through those bottlenecks and really start relicking more characters, well, they're not going to help with those at all. Instead, what they've decided to do is double the gear drops of everything of the stuff that you don't need. Okay, I'm being a little bit facetious here, guys. What they've done is essentially everything up to gear 12, all that gear is apparently having most of its sources doubled. So we are going to get twice as many Carbantes, twice as many stun guns, twice as many stun cuffs, maybe some of those Mark IV Chedak com links that I'm always seem to be out of, twice of the Mark III Sienna hollow projectors. It is useful. It just won't actually get you 
two relics. It'll get you almost the way there. And of course, there are caveats. It won't include any of the pieces that you need to go from gear 11 to gear 12, you know, the gold pieces. And it there's a cat. And it won't include pieces like Hyrotech. So, you know, the actual gear crunch. The only thing that I think this is really good for is things like Carbantes. Carbantes are still the number one gear crunch, so I'm quite happy to have many of those sources doubled. There is another side to this, though. Much like when we had the shard shop economy changes, where we had to um, uh, decrease the value of the shards that we got when we had a character go to an accelerated farm, they're doing the same things with thing with this accelerated gear. So if you have got loads, a massive stockpile of gear, from that's going to become accelerated. Check out the post inside the uh, inside the actual um, road ahead link to see which gear pieces these are. If you have got thousands of these gear pieces, then go ahead and convert them now before this change comes in. Otherwise, your current value will essentially be halved. If you don't have a lot of them, I wouldn't necessarily say it's particularly worth it. But if you do have large, massive stockpiles, now is the chance for you to go in there and break it down with the Jower Engineer. Just don't go down and break any really expensive gear. And finally, I know we eventually got there. We have got the final character for Dr. Afra announced. It is Sana Santa Saris Saris Santa Claus is coming as the final record. No, it's, it's Sana Santos. It's Dr. Afra's girlfriend. She's going to be the next marquee, the final marquee for uh, Dr. Afra. And they've confirmed this is just like the Starkiller event. So five characters or four characters at Relic 5. And the event is permanently available in the journey guide. These characters are also very powerful in Grand Arena. Dr. Afra has got Grand Arena Omicron, so better characters to get. And you'll be able to do this permanently from the uh, from the journey guide. What more could you possibly want, ladies and gentlemen? Now, we do not know quite when this next marquee is going to happen, going to drop. I will assume it is in a week's time, and then we'll probably have two weeks before the event goes live. So it all sort of tallies up to brand new TB released. Here's all your characters. Get your Jabber, get your Grand Inquisitor, get your Reaver, get your Dr. Afra, and go out there and wail until you are broke. And when you're broke, go ahead and take out a credit card and incur some bad debt. Don't do that. So yeah, lots of stuff. Let me know what you think about the new road ahead. Tell me what you think was missing. Tell me what you think was good. And why is it the fact that you're getting more carbantes going forward in the future? Until the next video, guys, peace out and big love.